first one. Uh, I am your host, Nav Green. Me and uh, Era Jordan. Uh, shout out to uh, Prize Picks and Carlos Miller. Uh, really coming to together, uh, you know, to do this show. It, it's a real good feeling. Um, the budget went big enough for us to have a co-host, so we got Era Jordan right here. I got a, I got a LeBron story. Uh, what? Real quick. Go ahead. So um, this is way back, way back in the day. I'm probably like ten or eleven or something like that. Twenty, two thousand three. Um, whatever. So he's in Atlanta. Me and a couple of friends, we like, we know it's like, yo, that's that's LeBron. That's LeBron. Like, yo, LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. And we like overheard him talking to his people, like, keep them little niggas away from me. And he kept it moving. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we gotta start. Running these stories by dumb <laughs> before y'all just tell them. <laughs> them, cause I, I don't want I want the show to be authentic. Cause I, I pray dumb. I hope you edit and cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> them twenty eight seconds I can't get back. <laughs> I don't blame LeBron. LeBron gonna see this and say I knew it was a reason I ain't want them little <laughs> niggas around me. Look what that little nigga grew up to be. <laughs> Bruh, at 10, I get. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now tell me this, Jai. Like, you play at a higher level. Mm -hmm. Jokic, how you feel about Jokic? Is it like, is he. If you say it, then I gotta start agreeing. Is he, is he him? He's him. Damn. He's him. I mean, the rules have changed, though, since oh. I played. So, like, Offensively, they have way more freedom. Uh -huh. That's why you see a lot of anybody's getting 50 points these days. Yeah. You know, you'll, you'll see a person get 50 that you never heard of before. Right. Uh, until that moment, and then you'll never hear about it again because they don't they don't get the 50 no more. Mm. They're back to being a role player. So, uh, I would I would love to see how he would have played in, in uh, the era where you can kind of like grab and hold yeah. a little bit to see see how successful. You let him go for 50 on you. No, no, no. Oh, man. No no way. Way. I just know me. I have six. I got a fives. different type of pride, though. Yeah. Yeah. I come from the South. Yeah. So. <laughs> I I'm not done. I'm not letting that. D'Angelo <laughs> Russell, you garbage bastard. Bruh. And, and this is what a lot of people don't realize that. D'Angelo Russell, I felt like he was due for one good game. Prize picks had him at 10 points. I said, this game four. LeBron needs some people to step up. It's going to be D'Angelo Russell. That garbage bastard had four points. Never again, nigga. <laughs> I don't follow him on Instagram, and he don't follow me on Instagram. I went to his page, and I blocked that motherfucker. <laughs> I don't want no interaction with you ever, nigga. Because people forget when people play basketball good, play football good, you forget the little shit that they do. Y'all don't remember he snitched on Nick Young? Yeah, never forget. He been a lame-ass <laughs> nigga. We never should have been fucking with him. <laughs> but sometimes somebody start playing great basketball, you forget. But never again I will forget. D'Angelo Russell, you was, a, you was now in the Garbage Bouster Hall of Fame. <laughs> Once you get in that Hall of Fame, you can't get out. I don't give a fuck if you gonna score 93 points a game. You was a garbage bastard. And I will remember you that for life. So it's him, wait, so it's him and Sabonis in there now? Him and Sabonis, them okay. two garbage bastards. <laughs> and last but not least, DeAndre Ayton. You was a garbage bastard. <laughs> I'll never forget you being a garbage bastard. Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy Nav Green. And you know what I came to talk about? Prize picks. It's available in over 30 states. It's no excuses. And if you don't stay in them 30 states, move to them 30 states because you're missing out. Man, all it is, more or less. Your favorite players. It's easy. 50-50 chance, man. You can win up to 25 times your money, whatever you put up. So if you put up 50, you win times 25. What's that? Man, you can win 1250. If you put up 100, you could win up to 2500. What make it so good? If you deposit $100 using the broken plate, Promo code, they gonna match up $100. So now you got more chances to win all the money you can win. What you waiting for, man? Prize picks. Go type in the code, broken play. 
Man, they got so many sports going on right now. You got college football. You got basketball. NBA just started back. You got NFL. Right now, pick it. Tour. Miami Dolphins. He gonna get all the yards you need him to get. That's a lot. Man, what you waiting for? NBA. Rebound. Who I like? Capella. I like Capella with them rebounds. With them assists, give me Trey Young. Uh, with points, give me Kevin Durant. Them, I'm just throwing you some options if you want to win some money. Shout out to Broken Play. Use the Broken Play promo code and go get you some money. Shout out to Prize Picks. Mike, you ain't never played sports. You could have been like a football player. Like I got cut in football. <gasps> I got traded. Traded? And Pee Wee's. It's never happened. <laughs> oh, hell no. Yeah, because I think, I think the coach was either he was fucking my mama or he was trying to fuck me. <laughs> Damn. Hey, that yeah. shit going on in that that, yeah. that, that daddy nah, ball bro, shit. Bro, you know you grown. You know, everybody like, nah, my mama shit. <laughs> Not your mama was getting down. I mean, I done fucked some kids' mamas. They be like, oh. my mama was never. Like, nigga, you was in the other room sleep. <laughs> So it happens, you know what Why I mean? Why do shows turn into this? I was hey. ready to talk about Pat Riley. We talking about Pat Riley. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, Pat if, if your coach only take you home, nigga, that coach nigga. don't fuck your mom. <laughs> <laughs> coach, I need a ride to, hey, wait your ass over there. <laughs> your mom's gonna be at 8.30, I gotta go. You the only nigga get in your coach truck? <laughs> Mama fucking. Yeah, mama done fuck. Not the only one I was because, because I was bad. I was real bad. What position they had you at? Man, I played everything. I tried to kick it. I couldn't kick I couldn't do nothing, bro. Oh, my God. Defensive end was where I ended up at, but I never got the game. One time, so bad, I got traded to the other team for nobody. They basically sent me to the other team. <laughs> But it was so bad. Now you got sick. You didn't get traded, nigga. You got the block. You got sick. I got sick. <laughs> Man, I got go, sick. Talk. Go play with Welcome Mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. That's how bad it was. The first game, I was excited. I'm gonna get him. I had a, I had a mouthpiece, and it was in the wrapper. Another player, he ain't had one. The coach was like, damn. He said, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to the game. He said, give me that goddamn mouthpiece. <laughs> 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 Give me that guy that come up here. Go sit your ass down. <laughs> hey, oh when a nigga, when a nigga whisper and cuss at you, he mean, go sit your goddamn ass. <laughs> he thought it was your moment. He said, "Bye." I said, "Ooh, <laughs> said, take the mop off your helmet." Hurry up, <laughs> Sam. Come here. I'm like, what the fuck? It won't sell if it ain't L. Said ESPN gonna try to get Nav to do a feature on the Stephen A. Smith show. Bitch, you a motherfucking lie. If you steal from me, nigga, I ain't coming to your show. You come to mine. The fuck I look like coming to your show? Nigga, you stole my shit. You already watched my show. <clears throat> <laughs> Deadpool's ghost. What are y'all going to do in between NBA season and the NFL season? Because I can't see Nav talking about baseball, LOL. Look, that's what I'm trying to tell you. People put limitations on, on people. Don't put me in a box and just say I'm NBA and NFL. Talking about what we gonna do during, after NBA season. But since you said it, nigga, you right. We gonna take a break. So <laughs> 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 to, to football start up. When college football start up, I'm back. Cause I do not watch baseball. I like to go to the games, but we got some boxing coming up. We got some good shit on the way. Hey, if y'all if y'all counted us out, bitch, you can't count. Yeah. Boy, <laughs> niggas is fucking with this show who you don't even know. I ain't know Pat McAfee was following this shit. He got a big show. Wow. There's no shit. That's hard. We got to get him on this motherfucker. Let him talk this shit. This come from Shatavia Scott. What? I'm on my baby mama phone watching this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I don't know who you is, but Shantavia Scott, appreciate your baby daddy letting you, baby daddy use the phone. That's how I know this shit good. And that's how I know his old lady ain't cheap. Because she let you watch a whole hour and a half episode on her phone, nigga. Nigga, you trust her and she trusts you, nigga. You got to be a brave nigga not to go through them messages. You ain't pause that shit one time, you good. Bad females could get away with that shit. Like, they don't even have to 
niggas think they know them. Do you it's, know athletes? If you see an athlete, you know what he plays stuff? Like the major ones. <laughs> so there ain't gonna be no nigga coming off the bench. You like, <laughs> no, I ain't gonna know who that is. Would you talk to a nigga who come off the bench? No. <laughs> they saw her face when she made the- Hey, <laughs> she got serious in the mother been laughing all day. Try no. Me. Wow. That's a, that's a, a hell of a compliment. Now, I mean, and that's cool. I mean, coming I'm sure he bench? is. A- <laughs> I'm sure he is a millionaire, Damn. but I'm not going to talk to every nigga that's a millionaire just because he a millionaire. You got to be playing. I, I feel like if I'm going to talk to somebody in any profession, I want my nigga to be the best at it. I want Damn. him to be one of the best at it. I don't want the bench nigga. What are you the great at? Why you not good enough to play? You, if you ain't good enough to play, you ain't good enough to play with me. What do you think you the, well, she, great she at, the greatest at? Everybody ain't going to start. What do you think you the greatest at? What do I think at? I'm the greatest at? I think I'm the greatest stand-up comedian. I don't think mm-hmm. nobody could roast against me. I don't think you can find I don't think you can pay a nigga that can beat me roasting. So who you think you better than where you think I can't pay him to be better than you at? I feel like just being myself. I feel oh, like that's... <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all women got to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but women don't ever have to really bring shit to the table. Well, hey, but no, I'm just me. I'm not them other bitches. No, bitch, you gotta do something too. No, but look, seriously though, I feel like me and my friend have literally built a brand on being ourselves. Thanks. And but so I that, feel like that's I'm on, just that's on a professional level. What are you doing in your relationship? That's what we talking about. He wasn't about. asking me about a relationship. I was asking you. It, it, it got to come back to the house some. She know what that nigga leaving the house to go do. You can't tell a nigga, no, me and my friend, we I just be being us. I be leaving the house to do me. <laughs> Bitch, y'all smoking hookah. Y'all ain't being y'all yourself. That's doing me, and I always come back with a check. Hey. <laughs> nigga, I would never call you D-Lo again, nigga. Nicknames is for niggas who can hoop. Nigga, I need to know your middle name too, bitch. D'Angelo Bernard Russell. Bro, that shit is pathetic. We got uh Javante, Javante fighting this week. Him and uh who 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 he fighting that? Ryan Garcia. Man, a lot of people are trying to make this closer than what it is. Javante Tank Davis is going to beat the hell out that man. A lot of people, and I got to argue with somebody the other day, he was like, you got to watch boxing. You got to, I don't got to watch shit. I'm willing to bet I will shave all my health. I will go bald if Ryan Garcia beats Javante Tank Davis. You, you hearing it live. Like, I, I'm so confident in him. Did you see when he was training with that big weight ball and throwing it back at the uh his trainer? Man, his trainer can't even handle the shit he want to do. You can't train a man that you can't train. Man, he, bro, I saw him training. I thought it was like Creed Six or something. I'm like, he doing all this with Ryan Garcia, and that's because people been talking saying that he could lose. He was like, oh, I gotta start taking this serious. I be, I be bullshitting. I know I could whoop his ass, but if you, hey, I don't know what prize pick's gonna offer for that, but whatever they offer for that, I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to make my entry knockout before round seven. Before round seven, man, did, I don't think they saw Tank last fight. When he knocked the, knocked Buddy through the ropes and they had memes, they were comparing it to that Michael Jordan, uh, Martin Lawrence, my bad, Era Mike. <laughs> That's why we got Era Mike up here. But no, Tank is gonna beat the shit out of him, man. It's it's no question to ask. So mm. look, Rico, the what y'all think about Zion Williamson and the porn star? Man, I, as ugly as Zion is, I'm happy he gets <laughs> As ugly as Zion Yo. is, bro. No, I'm telling you, he's an ugly fellow, man. I I don't even judge. I do judge. Dude. Why am I stop lying? That nigga ugly regardless of what I do. <laughs> He, yeah. Be happy that nigga fucking a bitch like that. I don't give a I mean, fuck what he do, man. His head don't fit his body. Bro. Hell no. <laughs> like, that nigga head look like it should be on a six foot nigga, bro. Out of all the pictures, <laughs> why they keep showing that picture of him in that ugly ass outfit, though? When he oh, with the, the turtle neck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, outfit the ugly. Neck. He ugly. <laughs> that nigga look like a dick, bro. <laughs> that shit look weird as hell, bro. I, I mean, know. I Let think the that. Man fuck, man. I think, I think that shit was all scripted, to tell you the truth. Because he had to have a fall. He was damn near too perfect as far as character wise. 
I think that shit be scripted sometimes. No, he wasn't perfect. He was ugly as a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, talk, I'm, I'm talking about like his off the court shit. Oh, you know okay, what I mean? Man, cool. Like he was like a kind of golden boy, you know? He had to have something wrong with Put him. A bag on it wasn't drugs, perfect. it wasn't guns, but it was buns, bro. So. Goddamn. Hey, uh, all things, bro. I'm glad Backpage went around when that nigga Zion Williams got in the league. <laughs> oh, he Zion Williams, he the type, he, nigga done ran the train, he was like, man, let me see what it tastes like. Nigga, yeah. oh, no. <laughs> nigga, go in there, Zion. you see that nigga eating the pussy. Like, nigga, you tripping, Zion. Zion. The last one. Zion want to go last one. Yeah, he want to go last. Y'all going to get him. You going to get him out. Damn, bro. Go ahead, get him out. I'm being a bitch. I'm the headliner. I'm the headliner. God damn. <laughs> you peeking at that nigga doing the 69. <laughs> I think that really made it worse is all her tweets, all, all the porn stars' tweets Ain't and crazy. shit. She's still tweeting right now. She is, What's she saying? She's still going. Marcel, read, read a few of her last tweets. Let's see what she's saying. And this part of the highlights. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no more basketball to talk about because damn Joker. Yeah. Dub, you think Joker the toughest white boy you ever seen play? No, not at all. Who is? I think he got a good team around him. Probably the toughest white boy uh, got to be the Bill Lambert. You got uh, 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 the way of... Uh, oh, when he played with Bill the Pistons, he used to knock the nigga on his the, ass. Bad boys. Uh, who else? Toughest white boys. Hey, I think Larry Bird was overrated. No, nah, Larry Bird went overrated. He played in the 80s. Ain't no way. He played in the 80s. Them niggas was snorting powder, bro, with the referee. <laughs> Them niggas was tough back then. Every nigga in the 80s. You said the referee was snorting powder? Yeah, bro. Every nigga in the 80s that played had a rape charge, some type of way. I'm trying to tell you, bro. If it was statutory rape, some type of rape, they had a rape charge. You can't beat them niggas in the 80s, bro. I'm telling well, you. Well, I think they just probably was scared to talk shit to Larry Bird, though. That's what you think, bro. Larry Bird did snuff too bad. I had bumps in his face. He didn't want to look like he had AIDS. Not magic. I'm trying to tell you. That's why they, he was a bad hey. motherfucker, man. Larry hey. Bird was a bad motherfucker, man. Magic didn't Bruh, it was this Larry shit might be selfish, bro. You said who? This shit might, it might sound selfish, nigga. You probably just here for me today. I need these laughs. <laughs> Legend, bro. That hey, nigga no, said Larry Bird the one look like he had AIDS. He had the HIV. They just made Magic say he had it. It was, <laughs> it, was, it was Bird, my nigga. I'm telling you. The five stages of grief with um. <laughs> first stage is denial. You sound stupid. It was literally my man, and I never once looked for clout from anyone I never posted when I was when I was in NOLA. I was loyal to you, Zion. She's adding him on every tweet. And you got thoughts preggers. Before uh. you keep reading, Zion look like he can't read. Bitch, he don't. Bitch, <laughs> voice record him that shit. I think Zion, I read this to me. And the niggas around Zion, they going to word it. Nah, she just saying you're a great player. Okay. He's still loving him. He still got love for him. Oh, facts. I mean, he said the delete. He said, he like, can you delete the tweets and we'll talk about this? Like, that's what he. Yeah, because he can't read them. And she delete. He said, can you delete that shit? Just talk. Just talk to me. <laughs> Bitch, I can't read all that shit. I'm talking about grief. <laughs> bro, niggas don't know this, bro. I would never, like, even in clubs, when I used to go to clubs and shit coming up of age, I never would try a nigga who be out there dancing. Any nigga, all the dancing niggas be the yeah, worst. Any nigga who tick, any nigga who tick all night and be doing all the dance, I never fuck with them. Nigga, you got too much energy. You done dance five straight so bitch. I know I ain't got enough wind to fight you. I told my partner one day, I said, leave that nigga the fuck alone. He said, no, that nigga keep stepping on my shoe. Well, you bag the fuck up. Move out of his way. Get out of his way. Let the nigga dance. You in his way. You not dance. <laughs> this the dance floor. We supposed to be back. <laughs> I start resolving the issue. <laughs> Man, I'm talking about the nigga sweating. I can tell you musty. That nigga didn't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. Cause you know you can't be musty allegations. You cannot, as a black person, if you musty once, you, you musty, musty forever. forever. So musty the fact that you out there dancing and you know you musty and you still dancing. Man, anytime a nigga dance, he go to taking his shirt off. Like, oh, that nigga stink. <laughs> That <laughs> nigga done got stank in that bitch. And don't walk Bob and make a face. Cause he, he finna be like, what's up? Like, yeah. I don't want no, no yeah, smoke. Y'all crazy, man. Talking That's about, true, like, you ever, you ever, uh, like, when you said you fought, like, briefly, mm. was it was it a bad loss, though? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hell. Oh, yeah. I well, thought you were gonna say something different. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna give it 1,000 because people was there. Yeah. Was oh, like, my God. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we watch. Mark, you lying. 
Oh, Your boo was there? At the time? No, nah, she was not that one. Oh, Lord. Not the one. So, so I got it. I'll tell you, I'll tell the story. Mm -hmm. I got in the fight because I found out I didn't know how to fight for real. It was his brother's name. I ain't gonna say his name when he I told you earlier his name. But I thought I could fight because I used to knock people out all the time. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why is because my mama, she raised me like, don't let nobody hit you first. You know, most people say, somebody hit you, hit them back. Yeah. My mama always say the first hit might be the last. Mm. That's smart. That so, is facts. So I never, you know what I'm saying? So I knew it was a, I'm finna hit this motherfucker. And I, and I would hit him and I was, you know, I was heavy handed. They go to sleep. So I thought I could fight. So this, this dude, we had a, um, a block party. So I, you know, I had a little nickname and shit. You know, I was, I was that nigga. What you your know what nickname was? I don't, I don't want to say it. I'm about to cry. What he gonna make a nigga relapse? Hell yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Nigga might start whooping ass. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at that shit alone. Take my chair off. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas start swinging out the blue. Oh, it, it was Slim Loke. I got, I got this. I had to erase it. Slim Loke. Slim Loke. I was skinny, but oh, I was. Oh, all right. Loco. 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 Loco was good back then. Damn. Chill out, bro. Chill. Damn. Hey, this not like one of the CT movies. Shit, what we gonna do? They gonna slim look. <laughs> <laughs> One of them time of airplay. <laughs> you know, like you know, like a family matter when Eddie Winslow don't mess with the wrong guy. <laughs> Mom, it was slim low. <laughs> <laughs> he got a leather jacket on and shit. <laughs> <laughs> now Carl got to talk to Slim Low. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the school. Why I tell all that, man? I'm sorry. Okay, so I Slim Low. What you did, good, Slim Low? <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I could fight, right? So mm -hmm. it was this dude. I didn't know he was a professional boxer. Mm. And he was my neighbor, and I used to, I used to, I used to fuck with him. It was, I was in the wrong, 100%. Mm -hmm. I used to bam in his door at night. You know, we'd be drunk and shit, and nigga knock. And I do my DMX shit, I'm like, what you want to do? And the hell's it? You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, I used to do that. So one day, for some reason, and let me tell y'all something. When, you people run, when people go running at 4 o'clock in the morning, don't fuck with them people. <laughs> Like, leave them alone. They train them or something. They train them or something. <laughs> what? But you know you young, you ain't thinking like that. You like, oh, this nigga, he lame. We, we kicking it, he lame. So for some reason, we had a block party, you know what I'm saying? And me and my guy, we was them, we was them niggas, you know what I'm saying? We was kicking and talking shit, had all the girls out there and shit. So he came out, he was mad about the night before. And he came out and confronted me in front of everybody. And he talked like, he, he talked very proper. He's like, hey man, you keep fucking with me. I said, and what, motherfucker? What you gonna do? I said, man, I will slap the shit out of you out here, boy. And he was like, let's see how that works out for you. <laughs> so I said, man, hold my beard, man. I give Did my he say homo. pal? It's giving pal. Yeah, he's a pal. Yeah. Okay, because somebody say, say pal run. He didn't say pal, but the energy was definitely palish. Okay. So his his guy came out, the, out his apartment was like, yo, hold on, y'all put the gloves on, fight like men. So in my head, see, I'm young, I'm not thinking why he got boxing gloves in the house. I ain't thinking that. Because <laughs> what? I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be another another story of Mike knocking the motherfucker out. And this is the girls out here. We can invite some girls from the club out here. I was like, oh, this is going to be great. Yeah. And he was smaller than me. You know, I was like, hey, he a little nigga. I'm, I'm going to take it easy and just pop it as it in. <laughs> so when I'm putting my gloves on. I'm like doing the teeth thing. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. I look over and he take his shirt off. And I'm like... Nigga, where did the muscles come from? <laughs> he was so cut. You know, oh like the, God, you know yeah. the bubble six pack? The grit. He had the grit. Not the grit. <laughs> and he had the grit. I was like, God damn. But I had to keep myself going. Because yeah. I was like, no, nah, I weigh more than him. There's no way that, that don't mean nothing. It's just muscles. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. And then, and one thing about a, a trained fighter, they go into a different zone, like an actor. You know, they go into a different zone they about to fight. So when I, as I'm walking to the street and everybody like laughing, I'm finna whoop his ass. I look in his eyes, and that nigga looked at me, bro. I never had nobody in their life to this day look at me like this. Like that man wanted me, man. He wanted to fight. <laughs> he like, couldn't he was wait. Looking, he could. He was gone. It was like like you fell into his trap. Man, like, yes. thank you. I've been waiting. Finally, nigga. I was hoping somebody would be like, come on, Mike, don't do it. Like, like, you know, like, uh, it's like the time and place, 
I can say the time and place, man. Still love it like this. All right, man. <laughs> so I get out there, we got the gloves on, and then his stance was different. Like, I see his calves was like popping and shit. We, oh, I'm Lord. like, shit, you know what I'm saying? And my stance was, all I had was the right punch. Yeah. So he wasn't standing still for me to hit him with the motherfucker. I'm like, damn, this nigga won't let me hit him. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And this nigga throwing jabs and, and, and weaving it, and then that nigga punched me in that body, boy. Regular people don't punch in the body. Mm. Yeah. You just think I mean, to go to the face. Yeah, you think your face head. Yeah. The body, when y'all watching boxing and them body shots, like if you ever play football or, or whatever, hit the ground, your back, and the wind, you lose the wind, yeah. and you can't breathe, that happened. He hit me so hard, I was like, <gasps> and I was trying to get away from him. <laughs> I was oh like, my this God. Nigga. And I was trying to look cool, but you can't look cool when you can't breathe. You were scaring all the hoes. I'm letting like, you know right now, they was terrified. <laughs> no, Slim <laughs> Low. <laughs> they said, bitch, Slim Low out here <laughs> fucking <laughs> tripping, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> this nigga about to knock Slim Low out, bitch. So after you so, lost, your, lost your wind and your bro. That nigga hit me with a. So the worst punch ever is the one you don't see. That's when you ever see somebody get knocked out. It's, it, if you see it coming, naturally your body can brace it. Like, you can brace. You know, you can roll it. it. Yeah. You know, but a trained person gonna roll it. But a regular person at myself at that time, you still can see it, so you can brace like a car accident. Man, I still don't remember. What, I don't know what hand it was yeah. to this day. I heard someone go thump. Oh lord! And the crowd said, "Oh!" I'm oh. like, somebody got dunked on. I'm looking for the basketball rim. Like, who, <laughs> who happened? Who played oh basketball? Oh my basketball? god! And my eyes, when you get knocked out, the side of your, your eyes close from the side. It don't come from, so it's, it's almost like. Bro, I know you're not lying. You too Cause I'm like, this, this nigga said, I ain't never seen no shit like that in my life. You ever like swim, you ever be like, when it's like cloudy? No, nigga, no. <laughs> that shit was closing in. I'm like, I ain't know I had eyes on the side. And then. I Where'd he my, hit you at? I don't, don't I, I don't. You still don't I know. I just heard it. It was like goo. I and didn't you, feel till it. this day, you still. To this day, I didn't see it or feel it. So then my boy was like this, coming to me like, in slow motion, like, bro, that's, that's, enough. that's enough. So then I try to act like, you know, I, I couldn't go out for that, but I said, man, take these gloves, we're gonna fight for real. He's like, boy. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> if he hit you like that on the gloves. Without man, the gloves. You ain't gonna make it. So then I, you know, I fake like I wanted to fight. You know, you like to get hold me back shit. So my man, he looked out, he held me back. He <laughs> thought he contact. Slim, chill, I'm like, man. Let me go, cause you know, you know how I get. Yeah, I know, Mike. Come on. Oh God. So, oh my God. <laughs> hey, that was clown your ass. It was like, oh, they will call you Snoop. They don't know. They was like, Mike, now. Mike, now. That nigga went to Michael. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> we got in the house. And I was just in the house, and I was waiting for somebody to be like, it wasn't that bad, dog, you know. And nobody said that. It was so quiet in the house, and I, just, I was just like, man, how bad that shit look for real? Just be like, and my, oh boy, my, my boy like, man, that shit like domestic violence, bro. <gasps> domestic? He said, man, that nigga know something, man. Like, he he, that wasn't regular. So I felt, I, after that, we got cool. I oh. bet you did something, bro. <laughs> Big bro. My boy. My boy. Big homie, I just came to check on you, big bro. <laughs> Number love, big bro. I'm that type of person. Hey. Teach me. Hey, sign my gloves, big bro. <laughs> <laughs> they say it's the coach to blame. They putting him as a low light. I think so. You think so? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. What the fuck is that, Marco? <laughs> That's how they be getting our shit. You sitting there sending our shit to, to Stephen A, nigga. I found the mold. Put the camera on yourself, nigga. I keep hearing the fucking beeping. The nigga sending the damn tape to Stephen A. That's how the nigga know what I'm doing on my show. Whole time I keep hearing the beep every time I say some good shit, too. <laughs> he know how shit get edited three days later, put up six days later. Now Stephen A already done said the shit. Now it look like I'm copying. 
I'm trying to tell him to stop. <laughs> this the last day. No more phones in this motherfucker. No phones, no beepers, no goddamn computers. Nobody need a computer but Marcel. Nigga, you don't do stacks. Put all your electronics up, nigga, and work that camera. Now, what the fuck you got a walkie talkie for? Everybody in here, nigga. Oh, shit. Steven A, you done got my young <laughs> nigga on your team. Oh, bitch, you done started war now. Million. Nigga, I can make 200,000. I feel like I supposed to fuck any bitch I want. So if Zion, if you want to do that, live your life. That nigga from South Carolina. What I look like being faithful to a porn That's star? That's what I said. Ugly nigga from South Carolina, you better get it in while you can. <laughs> Ain't no way in the hell I let this shit drive. That nigga, soon Ain't as no you can't dunk no more, if I was that ugly from South Carolina, it'd be more news than this, man. I swear to I'd have been a fuck precious. What kind of shit you'd be doing, though? I'd have been a pr fuck precious, Viola Davis, God damn, Octavia bro. Spencer. I'd have fucked all the ugly women. Michelle Obama, Simone Biles, all the ugly women would have got fucked. Harriet Tubman, I'd have towed all the ugly women up. All the ugly women I ever heard. Neil Carter, I'd have bumped up, I'd have bumped up motherfucking ass. Up. <laughs> what that woman ain't on good time? The mama, the ugly ass Florida mama. Oh, I'd have to I'd have flow out of fuck Florida to Georgia. <laughs> Ugly nigga from South Carolina. Get it in, man. You got a mission out here, bro. Cause ain't nobody hey. gonna volunteer to fuck no ugly nigga from South Carolina. I ain't seen it before. Am we ain't gotta lying? read no more. <laughs> hmm? Every ugly woman. <laughs>